Jason, Mylene, Rufus, what do you think of the best scientific breakthroughs? I don't know, what do you reckon? You're clever. What do you reckon? Oh, the glass is full, That's you? it, the geek <laughs> chic. What do you reckon? Oh, I'm probably thinking down the TV line. Be appearing on TV, yeah, you've made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good way to go, why not? Television. I'm thinking TV, I mean... Yeah, I'm thinking TV. I like the way you readjusted your glasses there, like brains. I'm going up against the board. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you at, I've got glasses. Look at mine. Gone. What They've happened? got a bit of plaster on the end. They're yeah, your, yours are a lot older, though, aren't they? Though? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Television. He invented the telly, and I reckon he's looking down now and seeing what Katie did next, thinking, <laughs> was it worth it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> can, can anyone tell the difference between tel TV and HD TV? They advertise HD TV on the normal on the telly, telly. <laughs> and they go, look how brilliant it is. You go, well, I've got a normal telly, so I can't see how brilliant it is. <laughs> I can tell the difference between yeah, TV and. HDB, but the 3D is getting me. The, you know the advert in the cinema? We went to see Toy Story 3 in 3D, so we had the glasses oh, on, yeah. and they had an advert for, like, Sky HDTV in the cinema, and they were showing all the sports stuff. Yeah. And so, and, and they threw the ball, the, like the rugby ball, oh, yeah, they yeah. threw it through the... And it bounces out of shot, and then it bounces unexpectedly back into <laughs> shot, and I spilt Coke on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That isn't a good thing to have TV that actually makes you go, ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the TV's an amazing technological breakthrough? T uh, television is unquestionably amazing. Uh, like, everything I know, I learnt from television. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, for example, that during the Second World War, despite there having been a television service, there was no television service that was shut down during the Second World War? That's an interesting That's fact. True. I learned that from television. Do you know it's what a shame, though. Do you know because they could have, they, they would have made some great programmes like, during the Second yeah, World War. Have. Like EastEnders would definitely have been more interesting. Earrings everywhere. EastEnders, the Blitz years. <laughs> <laughs> How clean is your bunker? <laughs> I, uh, what, what do you think of TV? Do you watch a lot of TV, well, Russell? I come from a really working-class house, so TV dominated every moment. No-one ever spoke. We had a TV on while we were eating, and then we did built the extension when we bought our own council house. <laughs> and my dad, he, bought, he bought a dining room. We were, at least once a day, we will assemble as a family <laughs> in the dining room and watch a slightly smaller telly, which he mounted <laughs> on the wall. My father, he's put a TV in the bath. What's who, that all about? Put a TV in the bath? suicide bit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the last place it should go. Over my bath, you know those little trays you have over a bath? I've got a little hob. <laughs> <laughs> like I can cook, cook stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice. I've got floating salt and pepper. <laughs> I don't quite like that, dining in the bath. It's nice, I think that's yeah. a great idea. Because it doesn't stuff? matter about crumbs, you know, you can just brush yourself down. <laughs> I can get ketchup all over myself, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm in the bath. <laughs> I think more important, I think a more significant invention is the remote control. <laughs> because before the remote control, people had bigger families, so they always had someone to turn the television mm -hmm. over. <laughs> <laughs> the remote control also operates like the conch in Lord of the Flies. You know who the most powerful person is in any yeah. situation yeah. by knowing who has the remote control. There's yeah. people watching this at home going, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife does this thing where she, when she tidies up, she'll put... The, the place where the remotes go is near the telly. That's yeah. what she does. She does My girlfriend puts the remote on top of the yeah, telly. Yeah. Because she's an idiot. Yes. <laughs> it's not there. That's the last place it needs to be. I don't mind that. I have mine on a bit of elastic. What? Attach the television, so I take it, yeah. and I've changed the programme over, and I let go and go, thing, smack, back on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't nice. it break the screen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think stuff through, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if TV is one of the uh, greatest scientific breakthroughs. Did you try it? Oh, <laughs> Television was invented in 1925 by John Logie Baird. In 1982, Channel 4 started broadcasting with an episode of Countdown, featuring a fresh-faced Carol Vorderman, then just 43 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Got your glasses again. <laughs> oh. <laughs>